Hey guys, what's going on? It's your self-entitled draft expert of the Land 2000 Tears podcast network, Mitch. I'm back at you guys again with an updated Reese Senior Bowl and a potential Kirk Cousins to the 49ers trade. So unfortunately, PFF doesn't let me trade players, so I'll walk you through what I just already did. So I went back and I traded Kirk Cousins, or I traded a future first and second, or two future first and seconds, and a fifth rounder for the third or for the 12th pick, which I already traded to the Dolphins, and I got the 44th pick from the 49ers. I then used the 12th pick to trade up with two uh, two fifths, I believe. Yeah, two fifths, maybe one fourth and one fifth. You'll see at the end um, to get in the number three position. So Trevor Lawrence is off the board. Jamar Chase is off the board. Looks like the Jets are going to stick with Sam Darnold. And guys, the Senior Bowl was really in, like in, helpful for me, just being a, a draft expert. Um, a lot of good players. A lot of good people showed a ton of potential. Even like nobodies came up and really made a name for themselves. Um, so a lot of exciting content coming up here with these new prospects coming out of the woodworks. But of course, with the number three pick, with having moved on from Kirk Cousins, take Justin Fields, I'm going to take Zach Wilson. Let me talk to you guys a little bit of Zach Wilson. I know I have a few more picks coming up here. Um, before I have to move on, but um, Zach Wilson has the arm talent, has the body size, has the vision, um, has the playmaking ability of a typical prototype NFL quarterback in today's game. He is he is probably the closest thing to Pat Mahomes that we've seen. So Pat Mahomes was a little bit more. Um, pocket uh, pocket passer in college than Zach Wilson was, but the arm talents there. He makes some spectacular throws. He didn't always have the best receivers around him, but he made the BYU offense work into his hand. Great playmaking, uh, decision making, good head on his shoulders, um, plugging the score well in the wonder lick. Um, bright young, bright young man, but. Um, somebody that you want to build the team around and hopefully the Vikings finally get it right with getting a top three pick. All right. And moving on now we have at pick 14 still haven't got rid of that. A lot of good options. Rousseau's here. Not as much high in Rousseau. Quiddy Pay is here. Caleb Farley is here. Patrick Sertan is here. Jason Owe is here. Trev- Trevon Mooring here. JC Horn. Is here, Kadarius Tony, the wonderful playmaker out of Florida, who we saw during the Senior Bowl, make a ton of good, good plays and during practice. You know what? I don't even had to say, but if the Vikings traded down without trading the Kirk Cousins trade to the 49ers, moving up to number three to get Zach Wilson in this scenario, trading down, getting more picks in the early second round, and maybe taking Mac Jones. Don't hate it because Mac Jones. All season, people were saying, oh, it's the weapons he had around him. It's an unbelievable offense that was built around him. People were proven, proven significantly wrong during the Senior Bowl as Mac Jones made all other quarterbacks look so minute. I mean, he was making plays, throwing absolute darts and dots to his wide receivers. And don't get me wrong, wide receivers like Kadarius Tony and other people that were on this team – were good, but arguably that Alabama receiving core with Jaden Waddle and Devontae Smith, significantly better. Um, he made everyone look good. He didn't play in the Senior Bowl, but he played in practice, and, man, he really got people excited. And I would not be surprised if, if you see up here at eight, his name come off the board in real life. Um, but when it talks about needs, need interior defense alignment. We need edge rushers. Quitty pay, but we could also go and probably trade back in the situation because we don't need to take, you know, quitty pay in the situation. We could definitely move back still and 
Why can't I trade the pick? Okay, here we go. Colts at 21. Don't want to deal with the Eagles. Don't want to deal with the Seahawks. Colts at 21 is not bad. Colts could jump up, begin jumping up and getting Mac Jones here. I think that's what the Colts are going to want to do. I'll take your second round pick as well. And I'm going to get greedy. 207. Mm, what about 248? I'll throw in. Nah. Perfect. So you get a uh, later first, um, dropping down five slots. We get another second round pick. We get a seventh round pick. So let's see what happens here. Okay. So they came up and got Gregory Rousseau, so they didn't take Mac Jones. Caleb Farley, Barmore, all the good players pretty much came off the board right there. Um, Owet is intriguing to me. Needs to develop a little bit. Um, but has the size and talent and the speed um, to be an edge rusher on the outside. Uh, JC Horn really is starting to move up draft boards because of his athleticism and the lack of talent this year in the cornerback um, room or quarter or cornerback talent pool. Kadarius Tony is not a bad pick here, but I feel like there's a lot more wide receivers down the board that could possibly add more value to us. So I'm between Owe and Horn here. Aziz is also here. Vera Tucker is here. Samuel Cosme is here. Chaz Surratt. Jackson Carmen's here. I think I'm gonna take I'm gonna take Owe here. Just because we don't need because we have Daniel Hunter. We don't need a um, another, you know, we don't need someone that's going to jump in there right away and make some plays. Um, we do have some, a little bit of depth behind them um, with some later draft picks we had in the past couple of years, but um, definitely something of need and could develop into a very, very good player. Now we have Walker Little, intriguing to me. Our Darius Washington is here. Could fill our safety needs. Liam Eichberg is here. Jason Osai is here. Dickerson. Mayfield. I walk I like Walker Little. And I feel like there's some safeties down lower on the board that um, like Paris Ford, they could fill in. So I think I need to go after. I need to go after um, off the tackles here, or offensive guards. Could reunite Zach Wilson with Brady Christensen. Let's check out inside. So we have Leonard Dickerson, Creed Humphrey, who really, really had a bad. Um, senior bowl. Some people had a, most people had really, really good ones. He showed very, very poor abilities. Same with Ben Cleveland. Measured out really well, um, but did not perform well. I think it's it's crazy to jump up because of the formula. It's crazy to jump up from Trey Smith. Trey Smith might have had one of the best um, com or best senior bowls. And probably will have a very, very good uh, combine as well. Hamza Nazarul Dean had a really good senior bowl as well. I'm going to go with, I think I'm going to go with, I'm going to go with our Darius Washington here. I know I said their safety is later on, but I feel like it's going to also match up really well with um, positions of need. And plus we can get uh, Eichberg here. Um, Dickerson has some, I would take Dickerson, but he has a lot of injury problems that 
it just I can't look past concussions, knees. He's always seems to be hurt. He's not going to be able to start for us. Jalen Mayfield's here as well. Um, could also make an impact. Yeah, I'm going to go with Eichberg. Get another gold dome around the team. So we have pick 78. Davion Nixon is here. Really, really intriguing. Michael Carter is here. If we did, if we needed running back, I'd go after him. But I think we were more late round. Abram, Lucas, Jamie Newman out on him completely. Terrible, terrible showing all week in the Senior Bowl. Interception machine. Trey Smith is here. So our next pick's at 119, so it's kind of a long ways away. I'm going to try to get Trey Smith and Richie Grant also. Really, really good um, combine. I'm going to go with Davion Nixon, actually. So what do we, we – we've gotten tackle, safety, edge rusher, and quarterback. You need interior. Nixon's really intriguing. But Jabril Cox, if we move on from um, Anthony Barr's contract and Anthony Barr himself, which I think we should have, we should have let him go to the Jets. We'd have been better off. Jabril Cox is a baller, a ball hawk too. I, I can't pass him, but interior. So. I'm gonna I'm gonna pause real quick. Make sure Trey Smith has not been taken off the board. So the Titans, give me this pick, give you 119 and future fifth. Boom. So we actually added value here, giving a third round, uh, giving a fourth round pick and a fifth for a third. And we're going to go ahead and get Trey Smith. As I said before, it was dominant, absolutely dominant in the uh, senior bowl. Allowed zero pressures, one-on-ones um, -on -ones with defense line. One of two players, hopefully, that I may be able to get. Uh, that was just absolutely dominant. Now we have a little bit to wait. I'm actually going to, after 143, I'm going to double up again with the late seven round picks. Wow, Amari Rogers is still here. Round four. Jonathan Adams Jr., also really intriguing. Nico Collins, really good senior bowl. Guy looks dominant. I'm wondering if, if they have this, this person of interest here. To your offensive line, Keontae Brown. Okay. So they don't have the center out of uh, Wisconsin Whitewater, who I think could be a, a high level, high, high, very high level. Uh, he'd be a very, very high level center in today's NFL game for many years. Um, so we got tackle. Wouldn't hurt to um, double up with Dylan uh, Red News. Sayer Thomas is intriguing too. Um, Shaka Tony, we already got his outside partner. Nico Collins is really intriguing. We don't have a tall wide receiver that can move like him. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take him. Actually, I could double up here. Daz Newsom, Shy Smith. You know, I'm gonna do it. Spielman's always, always been shady with and light on tackles. We never draft enough of them, and when we do, we draft them in the seventh round. So I'm gonna get the Minnesota boy. Then I'm gonna pause. With the Jets, 
I mean, 147. You can take 159 and seventh. Give you the late seventh. Perfect. Now we're on the board. And I'm going to take Amari Rogers is really good in the return game as well. Jonathan Adams is a playmaker. Um, but if we need somebody to pair up, and I feel like we can get a playmaker that can return kicks later on. Um, we need a number one, or we need a tall wide receiver. Justin Jefferson and Adam Thielen are um, decent. Adam Thielen can play in the slot, so can Jefferson. Um, so you could pair him up with any one of these wide receivers. I like Nico Collins a lot. <laughs> it reminds me a lot of uh, Josh, Josh Gordon. Um, knock on wood, hopefully it doesn't smoke like a chimney like Josh Gordon. So, you know, off-field problems hopefully will not be there. Did take this year off in Michigan. We couldn't see any highlights on him, but 2019, he was dominant. And during the Senior Bowl, he looked absolutely dominant as well. Um, Cameron Sample, they played at D-tackle during the Senior Bowl. Really interesting. Peyton Hendershot. Hainsey had a really, really good uh, Senior Bowl as well. Uh, I'm going to go with Cameron Sample just because I feel like he's going to be really elusive um, or he can play both D-tackle and edge, um, kind of what they did in the Senior Bowl, and he was really effective. So, And then let's go to wide receivers. We need the playmaker. Josh Palmer lit it up on Tuesday or Wednesday of the Senior Bowl practices, was uncoverable. Got real speed, got good size. Good play in the slot. KJ Britt's really good too. You know, I said we need a playmaker to return kicks. I'm going to hate myself for this, but I feel like KJ Britt's too much value to pass up here. And that is my draft, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know what you think about it um, in the comments below. Uh, so I received an A-plus for my trade. A-plus for the Zach Wilson. D for this trade, but this is the one I feel like it could happen in real life. So um, I had to trade a bunch of these picks just so – because he can't trade players, so ignore the D. Uh, get a B-plus with the Colts trade. Away. Eichberg, Trey Smith. Overall, A. Um, these first two picks, very plausible. I'm telling you right now, if the Kirk Cousins trade goes down, look for the Vikings to trade up to number three spot. Let me know what you guys think. Um, subscribe, like, subscribe, and have a good day.